26 at South Bay Development, which consists of 625 upscale single-family homes on the former Los Angeles Air Force site at El Segundo Boulevard in Aviation. I'd like to thank William Lyons Homes for your investing in Hawthorne. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ray Sean and Harold Roth for your hard work. As you know, this guy hasn't had enough microphone time and you know, never put a microphone in front of him because you'll never get it back. I'm always in competition with him on stage. I'd like to introduce Jan Vogel. Will you please stand? <laughs> and any of your staff members that are here, please stand. What's the matter? Did you eat too much? You can't stand? No, I'm talking to him. Yeah, but he should stand. Jan is the Executive Director of Job Training and Development Department of South Bay Web. He was another one that we had nine pages of accomplishments of what he's brought to Hawthorne over the 16 years that I've been working with him is a very important tool, not only for Hawthorne, but all the new businesses that have moved in and all of the commercial retail that Jan has been able to place employees. Jan, we really appreciate that. Jan served almost 69,000 people at their one-stop business centers, enrolled 2,900 people in several grants, and 90% entered employment with an average salary of $17 per hour. The Welfare to Work program administered country, countywide by Hawthorne met its goal for the last year by enrolling over 800 participants in paid work experience and or classroom training with over 70% obtaining unsubsidized employment. Completed the fourth successful year of Fit for Gold, Healthy Mind and Body Youth Fitness. And this, would, this project could not have been possible without the help of Gold's gym. Steve Tavera and Abe Tavera, thank you very much. Why don't you guys stand? Stand, come on, Mr. Tavera. Abe, I see you brought your father today. I told you, if you don't stand, they sponsor the sixth annual Blueprint for Workshop Success Job Fair attended by nearly 600 students where we go to the, the surrounding high schools and we bring kids in when they're a senior to get a job. We even invite businesses around the area and we had I think close to 50 employers at the last one. Over 975 employees that were affected by the company closure and layoffs throughout the South Bay received assistance through our rapid response service unit received over 2.2 million to help dislocated airline and aerospace workers from our area and transitioning to a high wage, high demand occupation. And I could go on. Jan, thank you for your hard work and what you continue to do for the people in the South Bay. Almost there, I got 61 more sheets to go through, so give me time. Hamid Pomandari, Director of Housing, please stand and any of your staff that is here. Mr. Pomondari administers over $10 million in federal housing funds. During the, the 2006 year, the department implemented a fraud detection and prevention program that resulted in the recovery of over $200,000 of fraudulent housing claims. Every one of these dollars recovered is monies that will not burden our general fund. Thank you, Hamid. What do you say about a lawyer? Well, this is a tough crowd. What do you say about a lawyer? Okay, forget it. <laughs> Lewis, I used your joke, it didn't work. <laughs> Remember Glenn, this was Lewis's joke, okay? It wasn't mine. Glenn Shishido, please stand. And your staff, if you're, and your staff members. I thought I saw Russell. Hey Russell, I would stand if I was you. <laughs> Russell is a deputy, oh no, no, taller, taller. You don't want me to start on you, do you? Glenn, would you make him stand up? All right, Russell, there. The city attorney's proactive approach to protecting the city's revenue stream has continued with success this past year. Because the city's attorney's office 
closely with all city departments regarding their, their policies, practices, and risk management, the city has continued to avoid large legal liability judgments. With an active redevelopment agency, the city attorney's office has guided us through the Syntex, William Lyon, CBC, Primavera Developments, the Syntex and Lyon Homes Developments, and helped us save the LA Air Force Base from being closed and relocated. Congratulations, Glenn. Even better, no litigation resulted from any of these new projects. <laughs> that was Jag's joke, Glenn. Despite a large criminal caseload involving many thousands of cases filed annually, including the prosecution of code enforcement cases, the office maintains a very high conviction rate in the excess of 90%. Finally, finally, someone I really need to say thank you to. This man has done wonders and, and I think the city couldn't be where it is in its last two years. Um, our finance director, Jag, please stand. Uh, please remain standing. <laughs> Nervous? Everybody get to see him? <laughs> this is a great story. You guys got to hear this. Jag, come on, please stand. I'll tell Ginny. Jag started working in the city less than 10 years ago as a part-time accountant. His talents elevated him to a full-time accountant. Shortly thereafter, he propelled with velocity to accounting manager and then to assistant director of finance, and then director of finance, and then director of administrative services. Since two, June 2006, okay, Jay, you can sit down now. God, you guys are a tough crowd. I'd never make it at the improv with you guys. I see Jerry Flores over there. Are you sleeping, Jerry? Okay, just wanna make sure. All the successes that I have mentioned could not have been possible if it weren't for the young man with his hands-on approach to leadership. He supports his team members and provides them with the tools they need to succeed. Jag, I know my colleagues feel the same way. I do, and we are proud of you and having you as our city manager. Congratulations. And before I conclude, I'd like to thank my colleagues. I'd like to ask Mayor Pro Tem Velez to please stand. Where's Pablo? Oh, Councilman Pablo Catano. Hey, hey, hey Pablo, you got to stand, Mr. Velez. Uh, Councilwoman Ginny Lambert. And I don't know if. Is Mr. Parsons still here? I am, no, they gotta stand, I'm not done yet. Hey, it's roast time. Um, my success is based on the success of these three people standing here in front of you. They've been the backbone, the support of our community from a lot of my harebrained ideas of bringing them to the city. They're, they would never be here today if it wasn't for their vision that they share independently on their own for the common goal. Please look at these three people and you're looking at the backbone of every major development that is here today. I'd like you to give them a round of applause because without them I couldn't be successful. And I'm going to give you a few little tidbits to close with because I know they need to throw this somewhere in, in the press. Three years ago, the general fund reserves were less than $5 million. Today, the general fund reserves is close to $10 million. And I feel extremely confident by the end of the fiscal year, the reserves will be way over $10 million. Three years ago, the city's liquid funds were less than $9 million. Today, 
it is way over 17 million. And as I said at several council meetings, early indications show that we will start off with a balanced budget for July 1st, 2007. Congratulations to Hawthorne. I am proud of all the work, each and every one of you, that I call Team Hawthorne. What you have done for the success of Hawthorne, I can't measure. To my wife, to my daughters, to my son-in-laws, and to my granddaughter, the music, the video, every one of the team that comes to work every day that takes that extra point from our police officers to our orange shirt to our department heads to everyone that makes it possible for me to stand up in front and take all the credit for. Thank you. Man, tough crowd. I want to thank the Hawthorne Lawndale Ministerial Associations for their monthly meetings Wednesdays that pray for Hawthorne, that pray for their elected officials. We appreciate that very much. <sighs> Coming to the big announcement, I hope you guys are ready for this. No, I'm not moving out of Hawthorne and I'm not getting out of politics, so forget that. Huh? Well, I thought that would have got a standing ovation. Okay. All right, all right. Kidding's gone. We have gone further than I ever thought that we could go. In fact, Hawthorne has gone to space. Or should I say, space has come to Hawthorne. We prayed and hoped to be able to make this announcement today. Mayor Pro Tem Velez worked day and night along with our city manager and other, other people. Because we promised the people of Hawthorne we would continue to provide jobs, we would continue to provide safety, we would promise them that you would shop in Hawthorne. You would no longer have to leave Hawthorne. Just last night in the middle of writing this speech, I was informed by Mayor Pro Tem Velez that space exploration technology also known as SpaceX, is coming to Hawthorne. You guys don't realize how big this is for Hawthorne. It took a lot of hard work. It took two companies to come together, um, U.S. Storage and SpaceX. Who is SpaceX? SpaceX is an aerospace company whose singular purpose is reducing the cost of increasing the reliability of access to space. This goal is paramount to making space accessible to the general public. Last year, SpaceX won a contract to design and build and operate the successor to the space shuttle, which is due to retire in 2010. SpaceX solution, composed of its Falcon 9 booster rocket and Dragon spaceship, will provide access to orbit approximately one-tenth of the cost of the space shuttle, and it will be manufactured right here in Hawthorne. <laughs> Although then less than five years old, SpaceX already has 250 employees, and most of them will be located in Hawthorne. SpaceX is growing at a 30 to 40 percent per year and ultimately expects to have a work, workforce of thousands of people in Hawthorne. The people population is made of highly trained and skilled engineers and technicians with a relatively small administrative staff. It is my great honor to introduce Elon Musk, President and CEO of SpaceX, and I truly, truly want to thank you for choosing Hawthorne. Eloy, please stand. Let's give this man a round of applause. This will put Hawthorne back on the map for aerospace manufacturing, and this gentleman was being wined and dined by every large city 
I would say from here to Texas, is that safe, or New York? Texas, New York, and we're losing jobs in California. Do you guys, that's why Jan Vogel is so busy. This gentleman chose Hawthorne. I want to thank Mayor Pro Tem Velez for having the vision and the, the hard work. You guys do not believe what went through this. These are the types of business that we're attracting to Hawthorne. And why? Because of all of you. Because of our community, because of our schools, our superintendents, our school boards, our pastors and people like families. With that, I conclude. I say thank you to my wife, daughters, and son-in-laws, and my granddaughter. I thank all of the men and women that are giving up their lives overseas to protect us and keep the war there and not here. I thank the general for spending all your years as a true leader. I thank everyone here, and I can't put in words, but God has truly blessed the city of Hawthorne. God bless you all. Thank you. And I'll see you next year. We do have a special presentation that Patricia Donaldson, president of the chamber, is, would like to make to you, Mayor.